Say goodbye to the studio, guys. See you, guys. Later, bro. There's a lot of luggage. I like Venice Beach yesterday. One of the best bits about traveling through America, I reckon. I'm not sure there's um, a more patriotic sort of nation than America. Than Americans. Got my bags packed. Just got a few hours to kill. Ah, oh, this is the worst part of traveling. Waiting like the last few hours before you have to go to the airport. So I'm gonna go hang out at the studio for a bit and then go back home, wait for Justin, and uh, get our asses to the airport. Ready for the shit? Think so. Say goodbye to the studio, guys. See you guys. Later, bro. I won't tell everyone when I'm a dad, but there'll be signs. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Amazing. Go join. Do you have a good time, yeah? Oh, bro, thanks, sir. It needs to be a freaking great time with your friends. Oh, it's <laughs> so dirty. Yeah, just my one friend. <laughs> now your friends and your head, man. Oh, there, man. I got heaps of them. That's a lot of luggage for two grown men. Thanks, bro. Thanks, brother. A black hoodie. We would have looked like twins. Just at the airport now, waiting for Justin to come up the elevator, go into the lounge, drink ourselves to sleep. Had a bit of a pause in recording stuff, trying to get from one side of LA to our Airbnb. Uh, but we've got a rental car and uh, this is the Airbnb. You guys can uh, check it out. It's not too bad. I think it was a little overpriced for the location. Um, but it's just got two bedrooms. One here. This one. This dude. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Traffic's pretty f It's going to be like an hour to get to Venice Beach from here. For this little side mission, I'm just taking Osmo and my A74 24mm 2.8. It's the view from the lounge. It's kind of hood looking area. Got a free mattress out there and everything. Pack of smokes came with it. We're gonna get out of here. This is where we're at. This is our beast. Yeah, full of lines, bro. Oh, lines, true, lines. Behind the wheel, 
seven lanes yeah. of just blocks. Exactly. Traffic. One, two, three, Thousand, four, five, thousands six, of cars. Seven lanes. Coming up to Venice Beach. Looking for a park. Chris is hungry. Smell the weed in the air. <laughs> Nicely by the sun. Look at that. On oh, stone. No one's beneath me recognize the red body. Oh, yeah, it's not enough. Last time. No, I missed it there. No. <laughs> LAPD little buggy. These fuckers up to. This whole place is off the hook. <laughs> My whole brain's just like going, just taking everything in and fucking. The um, the hot pants are a real thing, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna get myself a pair. They're pretty good as hot pants, bro. to Bakersfield on our way to uh, Yosemite National Park. Wild. So this your first in and out experience? Yeah. I mean I've had a few other in and out experiences. First one with a burger. My first burger. <laughs> so um, how was your in and out burger experience? It was awesome. It was good. I had Dr. Pepper as my drink. Oh did you? Yeah. How did you like that? I used to drink it in London when I lived there, and um, it was good. It tasted good. That's it. You've got a lime in the door. Yes. Picked it off the tree, so if we have a beer later. Outside the Airbnb. Yeah, nice. I'll chuck in a slice of lime. Now, Walmart. We found 
found this little sweet waterfall down here we're gonna go check out. What's this place called? Bass Lake. How are you feeling about the trip so far? Loving it bro, it's pretty cool. It's been interesting. Uh, Bass Lake. Cool. I need a name for the car. This is a campsite as well. If you guys looking for a sweet campsite, this place is dope. We've got fires for like barbecuing. Probably get eaten by a bear if you want to. Fly fishing. This is in uh, Sierra National Park. These are all private homes with their own like jetties. People got money. Any standouts so far? I like Venice Beach yesterday. Venice Beach? Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was quite a buzz. I'll translate for you guys. So you said he likes Venice Beach. <laughs> We're just looking for a beer now. A beer or a beer? Like a cold beer. A beer. Yeah. Uh, what do you got there? Fritos, to get them in South Africa. Yeah. Hey, Hazy IPAs. Hazy IPAs. These are good too, man. Yeah, what I had to get the Sony out so you guys can see just the sheer scale of the shit. It's crazy. Is our car the road, Justin? And all the way up there is Bridal Veil vale Falls. It's so big. And then El Capitan. This is just down from uh, Bridal Vale Falls, like literally a couple of hundred meters. The El Capitan up there. This place is so fucking crazy.
Jesus, look at that. It's so mental. What's up, dog? What's up, my dog? Where are we at? In between. Oh, about a, we are about an hour outside of um, Yosemite. Yosemite, Yosemite. I don't know how you say it. But yeah, about an hour out of there on our way to some other place. I don't know. We've got a hotel by a casino tonight. So yeah, we're just going to chill out. And then tomorrow we're going to Mammoth Lakes. And then day after that, we're going to Vegas, baby. So, look at that valley. Check it in. Black Oaks Casino Resort. I'm going to chuck a hundred bucks on roulette. Black Oaks, that's our hotel for the night. Looks like there's a restaurant over there too. You what? Yeah, I'm a bit hungry. It's about, uh, what is it? Eight o'clock almost. Now we're gonna go check in and we'll show you the room. It's not bad, it's got gold on it. Like gold flake on the burger. guys so uh, we slept in the hotel last night didn't get to sleep till about one o'clock because um, we watched uh, some movie Gerard Butler which is pretty sweet and uh, now we're just getting coffee and I'm not 100% sure what town we're in I'm still waking up because we haven't had coffee yet but you know uh, looking like it's gonna be a pretty mint day again not too bad in the shade. Where are we? I don't know. Tulum. Tulum. This says there, look, Twain Heart. Twain Heart. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Did you sleep right last night? I did actually, after I hit my head. Ah. <laughs> it's a bit of a bump, eh? Just a little bit. A little bit of a unicorn. Smashed it. Got a pretty sweet coffee. I can't remember what the um, coffee shop was called, but I'll find out and put it in the video. And uh, I'll be giving them a five star review as well. And uh, we met that <coughs> we met that real estate agent and he paid for our coffee. <laughs> what was his name again? Nate. Nate. Shout That's out it. to Nate. Yeah, shout out to Nate. Um, people are so friendly over here, man. Unbelievably friendly. It's so good. I feel like it's genuinely friendly though. Hey? Like there's no ulterior motive. Yeah, no, they actually just, like, just like they carry on conversation. Yeah, and, like they genuinely care. They genuinely care about. Yeah. What, like who you are and stuff. It's pretty cool. Now we're on our way to Mammoth Lakes. Probably we're doing like the north rim of Yosemite. right about the raw files they're not as nice yeah well I spent some time last night trying to like match them up a little bit to my preset and it was like uh, yeah and then I went to the JPEGs the JPEGs look sick yeah I, I gave them a couple little alterations like a couple little yeah things but nothing much so it's got these straps that like take the like lift it it lifts it up onto your back right -o. And then so the just, ones here, you can change it to yeah, your so height. Just adjust it. Yeah, so if you're like shorter or taller, you can change where the straps are. 
Yeah, and then you can change these pods out. This yeah. is the other best bit as well. See, this is the main compartment. I mean, because this whole thing is the main compartment, mm -hmm. but this separates it all. So, like, you know, other bags that have these pods, when you put shit in here, it all just like falls down. Yeah, it moves into the. Yeah, ice. whereas this, like, this, yeah, is, this zips out. Yeah. Mint. And real tough, too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you can feel it, eh? In yeah. The, the 50 mil L, yeah. the R5, 1.2. The RF lens. Yeah. It's like a kg. I don't know if it's like 900 and something grams. Crazy. And this is like 180 or something. Is it grams. a 1.8? Yeah, it's 1.8. It's yeah. plenty. Yeah, it's plenty. Um, but I just got it because I didn't want to carry the 1 kg 50 mil L here. Yeah. You know, at a wedding it's a different story. Yeah. Portraits, but for this, I'm like, this is okay. Yeah. And it's only like 350 bucks. <laughs> I put it up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there's a track down here. We found this uh, little offshoot. It looked like a crazy valley down here. So, I'm just going to go check that out. There's a big lake. Look at that. Holy shit. Pretty crazy, eh? It's so crazy. Look at that lake. Holy shit. Craziness, man. What have you got, Canon? 50. Yeah, I'm gonna do some vertical frames and then stitch this. Hey, we'll put that in the video. Just from there. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Getting my breath back. Sweating some beads. Safe to say that was definitely worth the stop. Yeah, that was amazing. That was so good. <sighs> All right, next spot. Let me find some water in like that river that was down there. just down the road. We only drive like five minutes. Drove about five minutes down the road. Pulled into this campsite. It looks amazing. So we were just up the top of that valley for those last photos. But uh, check this river out. Another epic spot. Loving this little thing. I've been switching between the um, Fuji and my Sony with the 24mm 2.8 back and forth. Honestly, at this rate, we're never going to get anywhere. You know, we come around the corner and uh, it just gets crazier and crazier. Sonora man, Pass. Man is no more than a tenant of man. Roads are beautiful out here too. 
I think this is highway or is this called a highway? It's only highway one oh it's one oh eight anyway, one zero eight. And it like goes around the northern point of Yosemite Valley or Yosemite National Park. And this whole road is just insane. Like if you had a motorbike here it would be epic. Um, but also for camping there's just so many epic campgrounds down here. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, this whole highway is insane. Oh, it's nuts. It's so insane. Oh, there's like snow up on the mountains there. The sun's blazing here. <laughs> yeah, man. Another 10 minutes up the road. <laughs> we're, I think we're about eight, 9,000 feet now up it's it's way colder and like there's like thick snow right here we are going to check that out looks like that river was going under the snow yeah, I think so. this whole place is blowing my mind oh shit it's nuts Guys, that was off the charts. Yeah, that was so good. Still out of breath. We're two point five kilometers above steep sea level. Jeez, but it's not actually that cold, and that snow is just sitting there. Honestly, guys, this this road, this one hundred eight, we just keep stopping. Yeah, <laughs> we can't get out of here. Like every five minutes, we pull over. We're like, that's awesome. That's sick. look at that. <clears throat> yeah. And that like waterfall tunnel going under snow is yeah. crazy. But I'll uh, we'll carry on anyway. We're getting pretty hungry now. I'll try and find something to eat. Oh man. Down the bottom of um, that Sonora Pass, and we saw this cool shack up here. training base down there as well. It's a, it's a black hawk helicopter or something.
interesting military base right here. All the Blackhawks and the Chinooks. Oh, so there's no stopping any time. We're going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. for the first time. It's pretty sick. Yeah boy. How's that? That's I knew it. Sitting up ahead, but we had a pretty sweet steak lunch at uh, that place called Rhino's Bar and Grill. Yeah, um, gave him a good review. But yeah, had a ribeye steak. It was cooked perfectly, pretty much. It's awesome. And now we're about an hour out of Mammoth Lakes. Pretty keen to get there, check it out, have a look at the photos we've taken over the last few hours. But just waiting in this roadworks. like a pretty sick place, like a snowboarding town maybe. I think that's our accommodation there. Doesn't look too bad. I don't mind. Our accommodation for the night. Mammoth Lakes. I reckon it'd be awesome in the winter. Yeah, snow town, eh? Yeah, a little ski town. Gonna head on into the village now. Yeah. It'll be pretty cool. The place we're staying in is pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's getting cold now. <laughs> I do. Fine case. Woke up this morning, Mammoth Lakes. Uh, we're getting coffee here at this. Um, we're just gonna go get coffee here and then start making our way to Vegas. Pretty sweet coffee at uh, I think it was like Mammoth Coffee Roasters or something. Something like that. Um, you guys would have seen the video clips I took on my iPhone anyway. But what did you get? Cubano. It's like um, they add a bit of sweetened condensed milk. It's pretty good. Yeah, I just got my standard flat white with four shots. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna get our way on to Vegas. So check in soon. No shooting. Not true. <laughs> yeah. There's the shell. Because that's 17 kilometers already. Look at this place. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's fucking rad. <laughs> I'm not 
sure there's um, a more patriotic sort of nation than America. Than Americans. 100%. You know what I mean? Very proud country. It's very, yeah. It's pretty cool. It is. I wish New Zealand was like that. <laughs> it's just so not, eh? Nah. No. It's because we're such a melting pot, I think. You know? Yeah, so many different cultures. So many different cultures. I mean, America's such a small the same, but like, yeah, I don't know. Crazy little detour. So we're driving back to see what it is. It's random as fuck. <laughs> Hopefully it's all good. I'll park it over here so we can get further. Yeah. Go check it out. Just the landscape in this place changes so quickly. Look how dry this is. Go get my Fuji quick and get a couple frames. Yeah. Ethan's Fuji. <laughs> That's uh, one of the best bits about traveling through America, I reckon. All these little places to stop off in the small towns. Don't know what it is. Just so crazy how hot it is, but there's still like snow just here. We can't see in the wide angle, there's like mountains down there with snow on them. Thin as road just had a big dual trailer truck come through here. Chris Turner driving like a mamba. A mamba? <laughs> like a mamba bro. Green mamba. What is it? Area 51 sort of center. Nah, it's like an alien. alien cafe. It was in all these movies. Oh, yeah. Fuck, you can feel the heat here, man. Whew. Right, check in later. So, we're just coming into, uh, I don't even know what's this place called, but we'll put it on the screen. Uh, but this is where the alien center is. So, yeah, we're just going to go in here, get some lunch, take some photos. Should be sick. <laughs> I've always wanted to come to this place. I don't even know why, honestly. That movie? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right, I've got to get a shot of that. Some clients here. <laughs> yeah. This is dope.
between the what spring a box and the old bags. Mate, I'm just so stoked, honestly. Just outside of Vegas, we can actually see it. You're not going to see it on the screen, but we are going to get something to eat. You hungry? Yeah, man, I'm hungry. Yeah, I haven't eaten today. So. Going through into Vegas now on the crazy highway. Gotta be honest, not great vibes from Vegas so far. Yeah, both places we went in just felt super shit. Eh? Yeah. Not the friendliest spot. Yeah, it's such, such a dramatic change in energy. Like, I don't, yeah. know, I don't like to use the word energy, but you know, like in comparison to what we've experienced, <clears throat> just the uh, vibe. Yeah, we're still driving our hotel in Vegas. The traffic's pretty insane. And one thing we're noticing, that's that big cloud. Looks crazy. One thing we're noticing is there are a truckload of every every billboard you see is <laughs> a lawyer <laughs> saying he can get you money if you have an accident. Yeah. It's crazy. Good guys, you can probably see in the distance there. Like everywhere, there's just a different lawyer. Imagine there's a lot of suing and stuff going on in Vegas, or well, in this part of the world. I don't know. Do you have any more info on that? It's a crazy, crazy place. I don't really know what I expected out of Vegas, but it wasn't, it wasn't this, it wasn't this no. no. Just woke up here at the Mirage in Las Vegas, and uh, today we uh, we had the end goal of today. Forgive me, I'm a bit tired. Didn't sleep that well. Um, the end goal of today is to end up in the south rim of Grand Canyon. Uh, that's where we're staying tonight. So we're leaving Vegas now, and then going through the Hoover Dam, and then uh, we're doing summer route 66, which I'm really looking forward to, and then like I said, ending up in Grand Canyon, so yeah. Justin just texted me, said he's heading down to the lounge. So uh, we'll get out of here anyway. And uh, it was an experience, I don't regret coming here, but it's not a place I would come back to, um, to like hang out or anything. That's my view from someone who's not a city boy. <laughs> but the hotel room was pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Uh, this is like a executive king suite or something. Uh, you can see the view. That's the view from my hotel room. Justin staying on that side of the building. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Get off here. <laughs> Fuck it out. Ugh. We couldn't remember where we parked, but uh, I was pretty sure it's level three. What are you looking for? Cafe, coffee, out of Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> We are heading out of Vegas to a cafe and we're pretty stoked about it. We're keen to hit Route 66 and eventually Grand Canyon for sunset at the South Rim. Should be good. Yeah. And we'll check you later. Uh -huh.
There's just panels Both everywhere. Sides. Look at that, they just run for miles. It's like far as I can see, yeah. It's literally a solar farm. Wow. And further power a lot, man. Look further down in the distance there, there's yeah, a whole lot more as well. Too, yeah. yeah. That's insane. Imagine the power that generates. Especially with the sun, daylight hours here. Just saw the sign saying scenic overlook. I don't know if it's the one we want, but we'll have a look. Yeah. I don't know if this is the spot. Looking to the viewfinder, right? Oh, this isn't the one. Is it? Nah. Oh, the other one's a bridge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where are we at? Hoover Dam. Gonna go look at some bridge. Um, I don't know what the name of the bridge is. I can't remember, but we've got to walk up there, I think, to get to it. Alright. So this dam. I read up about it last night since the 1930s, I think. It's responsible for like a lot of the power generated in Vegas, Las Vegas area. Actually for a lot of Nevada and other areas maybe. I can't really remember all the details, but if you turn around and look at that. There's a whole lot of more down there. Lots of alien abductions too. Yeah. Crazy man. You wouldn't want to be here if you're not good with heights. What do you think? Um, yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, just look at that. Imagine the man hours involved to build this. How do you look at this? Look at those power poles at the angle they're at. Bonkers. You can feel this bridge shower and get off this bridge. <laughs> Nevada, and then on the other side of this bridge is Arizona, where we're going now. Six now, huh? Yeah. Taco Bell in America. Deciding what I want to eat first. The taco <laughs> or the burrito? It was way better than um, Taco Bell in New Zealand. Was that? Yeah. Never had Taco Bell in New Zealand. It was crap when I went. Just had a Taco Bell on Route 66. Pretty American. Yeah, that I've was never, good. I've never actually had Taco Bell at all, in, um, even in New Zealand. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I've had it in New Zealand, it was shit. It was it's pretty way new. better. Is it pretty new in New Zealand? Has it yeah, been yeah, it's only been around for a few years. Now we're just cruising down Route 66, going out of Kingman to try and hunt down some photos. Photo hunting.
And shooting that way would be sick because yeah. the light's going to come sort directional. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a certain level of planning required, I think, if you're going to get good shots here. Yeah, yeah like if you come down here, like looking that way, yeah. you're going to get beams of light like coming through. Yeah, as the sun gets lower. Yeah. We're here in uh, Arizona on our way to, on, I think we're on Route 66. Well, we were on Route 66, but either way, we're on our way to Oatman, which is like a weird little town. Just looks pretty cool. So we just stopped over here to have a bit of a break. It's a pretty epic scene, real um, wild west feeling, but um, it's our last day today, so just making the most of it on our way back to LA still got about six hours or something of driving to do so yeah
good trip there. Yeah, it's been good. Lots of photos. Back in LA, sitting in the traffic. Got a few hours to uh, before we get to the airport. Don't know if we're going to be taking any more photos, but if we do, the video shall carry on. It's probably three hours long by now, but we will uh, see where we end up soon.